connect robot with internet, right? We are not just be able to see and hear, also we can feel, right? We can act the future. Also, then the internet is no longer information super heavy, became action super heavy, right? So that is the key of so-called the industrial 4.0, right? To connect the cyber world with the physical world by action, by sensing, we, by the information technology, we can overcome the difficulty created by the distance. We can reach further, right? So but using robot, we can see the small things we will not be able to see. So that means we can overcome the difficulty created by the scale, right? Then in the biomedical application, robot help us to overcome the difficulty created by the environment. Those are kind of special physiological environment. We combine them together. So basically, robot help us go beyond the human capability. So that's what we call the ultra robot and automation. One of the applications we develop is the telediagnostic diagnostic of the breast cancer. We develop technology actually connect the doctor in the remote location with the patient through the robotics technology. So the idea is you have a robot which has sensors, okay, haptic sensor, tactile sensor, which can sense the tumor in the patient. Then the digitize this kind of feeling through the internet, pass to the remote location, pass to the doctor. Then doctors through the haptic rendering device regenerate, regenerate those kind of feeling. Okay, when the doctor put her or his hand on the device, he or she can feel the exactly same thing, just like feel the patient. Our cell phone, see, every six months, they make a new model. So if you use a robot to do this, every six months, you need to reprogram your robot, right? Then the traditional way, use a teach pendant, those kind of method to program robot take days to do it, right? Then the cost became very high because you have to do this every six months. Right? You need a new way to do this. So we actually developed technology, just like a human, use natural language. Right? Use human language to directly program the ro robot. So this way you can make the robot programming process more intuitive, right? much easy to do. When you drag discovery, you see those pharmaceutical company, a lot of drug is go through the manual process. People use a tube to do all kinds of things. You observe the color, temperature, right, in order to do the screening, right? The process is very inefficient. That's why today you develop one new drug, cost 1.5 billion US dollar over 10 to 5, 15 years. We think the robotics technology can play a very important role here, okay? So this is the system we have, we're trying to develop. It's like a, automated drug screening system, right? You got a bunch of the sales coming in the tray, just like a manufacturing line, right? Then you have nano robot put a different drug on the individual sale. Since the whole process is automated, right? You can screen the drug in the very high throughput.